Hello, hello. I haven't been here for a while. Well, I have, but I haven't made any of these for a while. Hello, and welcome back to my office. In lockdown one and two, I started doing these videos where I was taking a shot that I had in my portfolio and telling, recounting the words behind the shot. And it was a great thing to do. And I got to the summer and kind of lost momentum, ran out of pictures that I felt I could talk about. But actually, it's not true. I do have still a lot of images when I think about it that I can recount a story about. So after getting tons of messages actually from people who really loved the first round of um, words behind the pictures, I thought, okay, I am going to make a commitment to do a few more. I thought I'd start off today um, with John Squire, who um, I have this picture at home, so it was an easy one to start with. It's one that I took of him at his home in Macclesfield in Cheshire. I drove up and it took hours to get there actually and I think the weather was pretty pretty bad at the further north I was heading. Saying that, the closer I got to where John lived, the the sky sort of opened up and um, the, the scenery turned into rolling green hills and it all felt quite lush and there were hundreds of sheep uh, roaming around and I got a little bit lost, I seem to remember, and I think I even had to make a call and go, uh, finally, when I got there, um, John greeted me and um, he was very gentle. He's a very gentle soul and, um, and made me feel very welcome and took me on a little tour around outside the house. And immediately I thought, well, this, this view of the back behind his house, looking out over the fields is really incredible. And actually, after seeing the image that we, we captured, John told me that you know i really captured the the, sort of the sky basically the reason he chose that house was just because of the sky and he said you know you've got that sky in in the image which was um which was nice i wanted him with his guitar and by chance the guitar that he had for the image was um was one that damien hurst who's a good friend of his had created for him i mean can you imagine how much that guitar costs to ensure it's you know, very typical Damien Hurst, once you know, it's got all the sort of colourful circles on it. The, the final image I chose for my portfolio is one where John is yeah, looking off to the side and holding the guitar proudly aloft. And, um, and I just, yeah, I lit it so that I could really intensify the clouds and the lushness of the surround and get the vibrancy. Um, so that didn't take long, actually. We were only taking those pictures for about 10 minutes, having a little chat and and then um, I went inside and John showed me around the house and, and he had beautiful, massive art pieces that he creates around, you know, uh, around here and there around the house and really stunning works. Um, and his wife and his mother-in-law and his son were there and he's got daughters as well, but they were at school. So it wasn't locked down. And we took a few more pictures inside as well. And um, on leaving, he lent me a copy of um, P.P. Longstocking, the original original film on DVD uh, for me to watch with my daughter. And um, on the way home, driving through the little towns, um, I spotted um, a bric-a-bac shop uh, and there was this piano stool outside and I just inherited um, uh, a piano and um, the kids were, were playing it, but we didn't have anything to sit on. So I decided to pull up and grab this um this piano stool and um it's forever become in my mind the john squire piano stool because you know how you sort of make links between days of significance and and other things so yeah that's it i really love this picture um i just yeah i love the way he looks very grand parsons as well in it you know i love the shirt and his uh spotty footwear um thanks for watching and i look forward to telling you about another shop very soon.